is there a connection between forgiveness and personal health? I've always wondered whether the sicknesses that we suffer could be due to emotional distress. So today we talked about the toll that unforgiveness takes on even our physical health. Great that you could be with us. I hope you enjoy it. What happens if you don't forgive someone? Tell us about it. Well, it actually poisons you. Um, I have seen people who have actually spent years and years and years uh, in conflictual situations and it affects their health, it affects their well-being, it affects them in every way of their life because the bitterness will consume them. Mm -hmm. People will actually die of things like cancer because they cannot forgive. So knowing that and seeing the effects, why do you think we still refuse to forgive? I think it's pride. I think it's pride and I also think it is that we don't really realize what the sacrifice is that Jesus did for us. And that was something that I realized this morning. Yeah, me too. Because there I was in the car going on about this, this particular issue that we, we're battling with at the moment. Mm -hmm. And then quietly I, I hear this little voice in the back of my mind saying, I died for you, and I didn't need to. Yeah. I'll never forget the time when, when there was this uh, old farmer that was spewing off tons of bitterness. It's funny, I was thinking and, about and, and the Lord spoke to me at that moment. He said, if you, stop, if you don't stop and forgive, Gentis, that's going to be you. I went, oh my goodness, I cannot let that happen. No, it's really yeah. bad. Well, otherwise, the whole testimony of Christ um, has no weight. It has no value. I think the problem is is that when we get into self-righteousness ah. and the person you've been done down yeah. some somebody's done you wrong and you you are all self-righteous about it mm. and you don't want to forgive them mm -hmm. knowing that they've done wrong but unless you know it's interesting that that Jesus died on the cross um, for people who were going out and out to get him. Yeah. But mm -hmm. look at the forgiveness that's come into the world over the years since oh, that time. Oh, yeah, my goodness. What fruit. So that one act has actually changed the course of many people's lives. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you mentioned that not forgiving makes it kind of like a poison. Can you elaborate on that, please? Well, um, we had a teaching some years ago about um, when when you forgive somebody there's a reason why in in the in the the prayer it says forgive one another just as i have forgiven you mm -hmm. because if you don't forgive the poison of the unforgiveness actually stays with you yeah okay and it can actually seriously hurt you whereas if you do forgive you are released from that because the other person actually doesn't really care whether you've forgiven or not. They just move on. Most of the time they're even unconscious of it. Yeah. So the only person mm. who's really suffering when you don't forgive is you. Yeah, that's true. It's so therefore true. you're hurting yourself. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you deal with the situation, the poison that is actually turning around in your own belly is actually going to be released mm -hmm. and you are going to be truly free. Here we go. Okay, so how do I know in my heart that I have really forgiven someone? How do I know? When you've got happiness again, you're, you'll feel a peace that, that um, you never had before. And you will, it's, it's like when a ship is in, in, in at sea and it's got a sea anchor down and it's being held by that sea anchor. When they chop the wire for the sea anchor and the boat will just fly Can forward. Lur lurch forward, yeah. Because it has been set free. Okay, now what happens if I do all this to, to, to forgive and everything, but then that person comes in the room again, and oh God, I get tight in my gut again, and Well, whoa. then you, ha you haven't really forgiven them. No. Because what needs to happen is you get to a place where the, whether the person's there or not doesn't make any difference to you. Well, so how much, how much then is forgiveness tied to the emotions, or should it not be? It shouldn't be tied to your emotions, because <sighs> emotions is based on, I want, I feel, it's, it's a soul tie. Mm -hmm. You have a soul tie. You do. And if you can release that into the spirit 
and allow the Holy Spirit to guide you into that place, mm -hmm. then the feeling is in subject to the Spirit and therefore ah, it is no, it's not going to affect you anymore. That's good. Forgiveness could even have something to do with our overall health. Another reason to give up the hostilities and forgive the one who wronged you, especially if it's your spouse. It can take time to unpack the things your spouse is feeling. Next week, Judy and I will tackle the problem with now. See you then. God bless and bye for now.